Hello everyone, this is financial author Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. On this channel, you'll find financial, travel and more videos just like the one you're watching right now. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Hello everyone, this is financial author Ahmed Dunn of AhmedDunn.com. On this channel, you'll find financial, travel and more videos just like the one you're watching right now. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Today, I'll talk about Bill 791 and Bill 134 that were proposed in Quebec. Now, this video has two parts, part 1 and part 2. I recorded part 2 before May 1st. Uh, which talked about Bill 791. Uh, Bill 791 proposed stop credit card companies or reward programs devaluing their reverse program or reverse chart which would put an end to reverse programs or credit cards in Quebec. Now just before publishing part 2 I found out that Bill 791 was changed to Bill 134 and Bill 134 does not have the clause which would prohibit loyalty programs or reverse programs uh, devaluing their points or changing reverse charts. As a result, what I mentioned in part 2 is no longer valid and because Bill 134 is more flexible for loyalty programs and reverse programs. Uh, reverse credit cards and loyalty programs are no longer in danger in Quebec. For that reason, part 2 article is no longer valid. However, I'm going to publish it anyway just for your reference or as an FYI. Now, this new bill, which is Bill 134, is no longer considering uh, devaluing reverse programs and as a result whatever I mentioned in part 2 article for example uh, credit card companies are leaving Quebec or it will be an end for reverse programs in Quebec these are no, no longer valid also I mentioned in part 2 that MBNA Canada uh, Alaska MasterCard they stopped uh, taking applications in Quebec that's no longer valid as well since uh, the clause was removed from bill 791 and the new bill started which is bill 134 now MBNA Alaska World Elite uh, or MBNA Alaska MasterCard is available for Quebec residents and it looks like that you know the loyalty programs and all reward programs are going to be just fine in Quebec so after this part one the part two start and you uh, if you watch part two then you'll see what uh, i was talking about uh, before thank you for watching and if you find this video uh, full of information or if you like what you see please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing that's all for now thanks Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dunn of AhmedDunn.com. Today, I'll talk about Bill 791 that puts reverse program at risk of extinction. One of the Canadian provinces, Quebec, has introduced a bill called Quebec 791. This bill proposes three new legislative requirements for loyalty programs that operate in Quebec to protect consumers. In simple terms, Bill 791 means, if it comes into reality, is that reverse or loyalty programs will have to abide by these rules. Number one, inform public how to collect and use the rewards. Number two, the rewards own expire once collected. And number three, the program or value cannot be changed 
when you use the reverse what it means that the programs cannot be devalued loyalty or reverse programs can accept rule number one or two I just mentioned however rule number three is where no loyalty programs can comply with in theory this sounds like a great idea because you're guaranteed to retain the value of the points you're collecting whether it's airline hotel or other points but in reality this is not sustainable by any hotel airline or other reverse programs changing our charts adjusting reverse redemption rates or devaluing loyalty programs whatever you call it it's a necessity for the loyalty programs and it's a must to survive it's kind of same like inflation making grocery prices going up whether you like it or not it will happen Restricting loyalty programs to make necessary adjustments to survive will only make things worse and chase these programs away from Quebec. Quebec residents are the one who will suffer in the end. And there's no need to wait to see the consequences. It's already happening. MBNA Alaska Airlines MasterCard has already pulled out of Quebec. Other programs like SPG IHG, Hilton, Airplan, Avios, American Express, and many more will have to follow the same path. If Bill 791 passes, it will be the end of reverse credit curse and loyalty programs in Quebec, especially those internationally based. Quebec residents and points collectors should take a hard look at this bill before it's too late. That's all for now. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you.